sheltered me from harm, kept me warm. Hi, this is Ken Booth and Dawson, Don Sinclair, Reggae Vibes. Don't touch that remote. Just keep it on, you know, keep it luck. Ja! <laughs> Welcome, welcome YouTubers to another edition of Dancing Clear Quick Fire Interviews. So I'm gonna say big up yourself I'm Rooly Cooley and big up yourself Dancing Clear. Now who we have here? None other than one of Jamaica's greatest vocalists. I'm telling you, a specialist from rock steady till now, reggae vibes, 100 percent proof introducing to the world, Mr. Ken Booth. Thank you for the compliment. All right, thank sir. you, thank you so much. Good, good. Uh, Shanity. Yes, yes, yeah, yes you're yes. welcome. Thank you, sir. So, you and know, we. Don Sinclair. Yes, man. Right? Mm. I'll give thanks. Yeah. Bless it. Bless it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got this quick fire interview. I'm going to fire some quick questions at you. Go ahead. All right? And we're going to run it like this. So, Ken, can you tell me, um, what age did you get into the music business? I actually grew up into a musical family. Okay. My mother, she's our first inspiration. You know, when people wash their clothes in Jamaica, they sing, you know? Mm -hmm. And my mother was a great singer. And then she, she birthed um, seven of us. Mm -hmm. And her biggest child, she's a singer. She's the first and I'm the last. Okay. And she's, she's an actress. She's an all-arounder. All right. She married to two of the greatest comedians, you know? I say worldwide. I know some people don't know about them. One name is Bim and one is Bam. Yeah, I hear about Right. That. Yeah. And um, I remember that she, I used to look at her dressing up, you know, when she's trying on her, her, her dress, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, she's a woman, so I wait until when she's well-dressed up. I always admire her. I said, um, I'd like to be like my sister. All right. And, um, but um, even, even, even before that, my mommy, she told me that whenever I came home in the evening from, from private school, now they call kindergarten, okay. from private they call them. Yeah, yeah. She said, I, those days we live in tenement yard, right? Mm -hmm. I was just about tenement, different families. Yeah, yeah. And she, she told me that she, she could tell that I was going to be a singer. Because every evening that I, I came home from school, I would, I would gather up all the children in the yard, yeah. and, I, and I would get these cans. And I, because drum music is one of the first music that we identify with, okay. the drums. Yeah, yeah. And so I'd gather up all the kids in the house, in the yard, and I would, I, I, I would take the cans, the milk cans, mm -hmm. like, like the size, and I would put the cards into them myself. Yeah. You know, I bought the old. Okay. At the time I was like five years old, four. Wow. And I would wow. march them around the yard, <laughs> and I'd be going like, balam, balam. Balatatatatatatam with my mouth, you know. Mm -hmm. And she, she made up a name for me. She called me Balam. Because you see that, I, she, she, <laughs> she seated me, you know. But, yeah. but my sister, she's the first one that took me with her to a rehearsal, okay. to one of her rehearsals. Mm -hmm. And I start to, I start, I have that, getting that musical experience. Okay. You know, from, from that time. Yeah. And, and after a while, she, because she do pantomime also. She's a singer, she's a dressmaker, she's a hairdresser. Okay. She's the one who trims my hair yeah. when I'm going on shows when I was young. Because okay. she's the first one that put me on stage. Uh, when she do pantomime and whenever they have a, a, a kid's part to play, she would use me. Okay. You know, so I would, mm -hmm. be, I would do pantomime too when I was young, you know. Yeah, yeah. Not much, mm, but I whenever understand. kids, you know, for kids, yeah. and, and the play that they have on the, they need a kid, she would use me, you know, okay. and, um, and I used to get paid too, she paid me. That's good. You know, yeah, and, mm. uh, yeah, in, in the shilling days, you know. Okay, so where... That, where? that time we were, we were under the colonial um, uh, rule. rules, you know, yeah. with England. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you know. So whereabouts in Jamaica was this? Where? In Kingston, in Denham Town. Okay. You know, one of the boroughs that um, consists of people that weren't that fortunate, mm -hmm. but a lot of talent. When it comes to Trench Town, yeah. Denham Town, Rose Town, mm. Jones Town, all the town, town. <laughs> I possess a lot of singers. Yeah. And people <clears throat> from, you know, in different categories, soccer player, okay. you know, batsman, one of the greatest batsmen were Carly Smith. Yes. You know, and 
you know, I met Sobers for the first time wow. at Boystown when I was young. Okay. Um, people like um, Frank Warrell, yes. you know, um, and yeah. then I'm torn and um, I'm giving you it quick, right? Yes, yes. Because after, after I, I, I did all of that, you know, these, these life things with my, because my youngest sister, right, on the sister side, we used to dance together, me and her, okay. as Jack and Jill, on my sister show. Okay. You know, um, mm. and then um, all my family could see that I love singing. I'm the last one, you know. And my mother could tell that I was going to be a singer. Um, and so um, after I changed school, going to what they call elementary, mm -hmm. they call them secondary now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, I, I don't know if they call them secondary anymore, because it's not yeah. much college now. Yeah, yeah, they've got um, different names, academies and things like after, that. Uh, in the evenings, I used to go to the boys' town. That's a school for boys. Yeah, I've heard of that. Because too. they have the, the privilege that these, you know, you have boys' town all over the world. Yeah. Yeah, clubs, you know, where, mm -hmm. and, and they, um, they, they look out for kids that are not fortunate. So, so, um, you, you have kids over there learning to play ping pong ball, which is like tennis. Yeah. You know, kids, boxers, like quite two of the greatest boxers came out of, out of that that institution, Bonnie Grant and Percy Ears yeah, yeah. in those days. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah. So um, so they, they, they get grant from from the from other countries, you know, yeah. to keep up the school. Okay, yeah. So they have a piano, you know, mm -hmm. in, in, in the dormitory. And every evening, even girls go there to play, and it's a boys' school. Okay. You yeah. know, and so, um, so I used to go there every evening. Yeah. And 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 the, the piano, right, is what strikes my eyes. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I I have been singing, doing background things for my own self, like I would, you know. Yeah. I do these things on my mouth, you know, oh, wow. and, and sing, you know. So, yeah. but. I identify with the, the piano for the first time. I looked at it. I go into dormitory and I, and I saw people playing piano in movies and, and, and on shows too, you know, live shows. Yeah, yeah. Um, I couldn't pay to go in those days, but I would see. Um, I love singing so much that I would go to a theater and watch them carrying in the, 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 the okay. instruments and all that. <laughs> yeah. So I, I but I. I go there every evening at the Boys Town School just to touch that piano. And I can't play. Okay. But I could sing to one note. Bang, bang, baby, baby, gong, gong, I love you so much, dong, dong. Just that one <laughs> note and I could tune into it. Nice, nice. And for, for, for me to come into the business professionally now, mm -hmm. every evening I would have to pass by a stranger's house, stranger call. Yeah, yeah. I pass by his house and mm -hmm. uh, I, I hear singing. Yeah. Never met none of them. Don't know who, who's singing. But music have such an influence. You know, it's a message. And yeah. whenever you hear that message, you stop by and, and I will, I put a listening ears, you know? Yeah. So I stop by every evening and they don't know. Okay. Stranger call because it's like a, it's government houses, you know, we all of us live in too. Okay. So we're not living far away from each other. Yeah, yeah. But I stop there every evening and I listen. And gradually, this is what music can do for people. It can bring people together. Because that's what it's it done for me. Okay. It, it, so much influence music had on me that I find myself gradually in the midst of what I was listening to without they know I was there. And gradually I just keep moving up. It's in a government yard, you know, and they have some corridors like, and I've been moving up, moving until I reach in the midst of all of this, and I met stranger. Okay. And one day, and the same day they were singing, when I when I find myself in the midst, and, and I start to sing an harmony with the group. I had a group, you know. Okay. What's the court? I don't remember. It was stranger call and and something. But I don't okay. quite remember. Okay. And I I I, I do a little harmony, and stranger look at me and say. You can sing. And I said, Why? I, I, I want to sing, you know. Yeah. I want, because he's already a big star. Yeah, yeah. He, Stranger Coden was already a big star. He was singing with people like Patsy, Millie Small. Oh, wow. That you know were. He's the one that wrote, I'm in love with you, my dear. With um, Owen Gray and Millie Small. Okay, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 Stranger wrote that mm -hmm. song. And um, when I met him, I started to go around there every evening, you know, 
and we, we started to, to write songs together. Wow. Well, and um, we wrote yep. a song, um, Una Dos, counting from one to six. Una Dos, Tres Cuatro, Cinco Sai, you know, counting from one yeah, to six. Yeah, yeah, and, and, um, and he, But we, you, you already experienced the studio. Yeah, yeah. When we made these two songs, we made one, because, you know, the Chinese people, they were very popular in, in, the, in the unfortunate era. I don't want to say poor, mm -hmm. but, but they have all the, the bars, the grocery shops. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah. and so um, we decided to, to do a song. We wrote a song with a Chinese song. I'm all saying you are. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> nice, that. And, 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 and so it took me to the studio for an audition now. Okay. This is Treasure Isle, uh, Drew Creed, uh, yeah. Yeah. Treasure Isle that we used to work with. What year was this roughly, can you remember? This was 1963, 65, somewhere there. Okay, okay. You know, that, you know, mm. um, and when he took me to Drew Creed, I was young and I was fat, you know, and, and you know, because <laughs> you know, cause you're young, you eat a lot of food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, and Drew Creed said to him, you can't just go fat, boy. You <laughs> can't sing. And the first time, me and Stranger, yeah. right, do the song for him, these producers don't have to hear the song right out. From me hear my voice, the Stranger know I can sing, you just look at what and say, studio. Okay, and the studio was time. upstairs okay. at, at his place. Mm -hmm. And the musician was like Roland Alphonse or Tommy McCook, mm -hmm. Lightning. But the, the drummer that played that song were, were John Dago. He was a great drummer that probably you don't know about, you see? Okay. Right, and um, and, and and I prayed, you know, I, because I'm never doing a thing with a band recording-wise. So I prayed. Yeah. Because those days there were two tracks, you see? And you have to run down the songs, over and over with the yeah, band, yeah. and then the band and you record one, one time. One time, yeah. So um, when we run down the song and it's time for recording, you see a red light, and you better feel a little. Every life. Yeah. I've never, never go through this before. So, so um, I, when we, when we, one cut, you know, I used to entertainment and singing so much from when I was young that yeah. I know how to sing with a band. But when you see people who's professional, it kind of make you feel kind of shy yeah, and scared. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, you know, yeah. um, because you don't used to it, and yeah. you see these great people. Yeah. So when it, when, when the red light turned on. It's one cut, you know, one mm. time. The one man stranger rehearsed the song so much. It was just one cut. But that's for me, that's what made artists of your era so strong. Because you, you, you didn't have all that, um, you didn't have all this technology to make you punch in and punch in. You see what and, I'm saying? And, and, and you see what it is today. It's mm. universal. And that's where it started. Yeah. You know, and even people before us too. Okay. People like Derek Morgan, yeah. Prince Buster. Yeah. You know, and 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 Owen Gray that is living yeah, you now, um, Jackie yeah. Jackie Edwards that mm -hmm. died, passed away. Mm -hmm. These people are are really the forerunners. Okay. We're after these people. Okay. My sister, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, although she, she she did a recording with her husband. I want you and my sweetheart to, to be, be friends. Is my sister, yeah. you know? Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yes, wow. So you know, um, and so, so um, the first time I'm gonna hear my voice without me. It's on a jukebox. Okay. Because he releases that Una Dos. I'm going to pass by a bar and I hear Una Dos. I feel so shy, you know. <laughs> I'm going to kind of hide my face like this because it's so, so funny because it's me. Yeah, yeah. But the music is over there, the jukebox, and I'm over here. So, but the first thing you want to hear your voice without okay, you, yeah, it yeah. kind of make you feel kind of funny. Mm. But you feel proud still, though? It must have been a proud moment. I, I, I have a happy yeah, feeling. Yeah, definitely. Very definitely. happy. Definitely. And um, we started to do recording you now for some independent producers. Mm -hmm. People like um, Sir Percy, you don't even know about them. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, have, you have a Syrian guy that they, they, they just love music yeah. and they have money and they recorded us. Okay. You know, and then after that, you now Sir Coxon. He's the, he is the elite, you know? Yeah, he's like, definitely. He's like Motown. Yeah, definitely. All these artists that, that's, that sings for him. So what, what kind of artists was you, was you, was you um, inspiring with at those times? Well, I, when I started to, to sing with Stranger Cole, mm -hmm. I, I met people like Alton Ellis, oh. Derek Morgan, 
when Gray before he, he okay. migrated okay. to here. Yeah, like you said, and the people yeah. like Jackie Hope, no, okay. no, 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 Jackie Hope, he didn't run there as yet. But um, Jackie Edwards, that's Wilfred Edwards. Because these guys are international, have international names, you know. Then I start to associate with people like Desmond Decker oh, and, and Jesse, Jimmy Cliff, because yeah. Jimmy Cliff been out there a long, a long time too, you know? Yeah, definitely. And I, yeah, you know, and so forth. So, you know? so did, you, did, did you buy music back in the day? Did you buy any tunes? What was the, what, what was the first song that you ever bought? Did you, did you buy records? Or? Yes. Yeah, what was I the bought, first song I you came record, ever Seven and six were record, you know. <laughs> Shilling. <laughs> so um, if, if, we, if I, I love to play records, I, mm -hmm. am, I, I don't carry complex with me, you know, mm -hmm. when it comes to singing music. Yeah. Because the Bible, 87 Psalms, all the singers and players of instruments shall be theirs, mm -hmm. shall be there. All my spring are in thee. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I, I have no jealousy True. when it comes to people, because God didn't create no one singer. Yeah. You hear the Bible say all the singers mm. with that S yeah. and players. Yes. That's instruments. Yes. All my springs are in thee. Yeah. So I, I when I have my little set and thing, I love to buy my, my records with my friends. But but most of my friends record I, I got them free. Okay. Because I know the producer and but I, I bought like like foreign record, American. Okay. Song, you know, yeah. what, what was it, what, um, what's one of your favorite albums from, from, from them, from another artist? Do you have a favorite? You know, one of my inspiration, two guys from mm -hmm. America, mm -hmm. um, is, um, I would say I'm Otis Redding. I was a Picard, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I listened to these two guys. Okay. At, even at one time, oh, she may be weary. And young girls, they do get weary. You know what I mean? Yeah. What is ready? Yeah, yeah. Mustang yeah. Sally. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah man, and I even recorded it too, you know? Yeah. And I recorded yeah. that both of them I, I recorded. Okay. On my first album, okay. Mr. Rocksteady. Yeah, I do Mustang Sally and I do Oh, She May Be Weary. Yeah. Try like a tenderness. You okay. Know? Okay. Yeah, but these two guys in Jamaica now. My first inspiration were, were, were Owen Gray. Mm. Mm. He was, you see, America was 20 years ahead of us okay. from that time, even now. You think so? Yeah, America we were developed from that time, because okay. record changer. Yes. We didn't have, it wasn't popular in Jamaica, okay, but yes, you could, yes, yes. someone could bring it down from America. Yeah, yeah, the equipment. Yeah. Right, we didn't have all these tracks like what yeah. we have now. Yeah. Well, 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 in 1967, when I when I came to England, right, I recording when I fall in love here, you know. Yeah. Okay. It, it's not a Jamaica it recorded. Okay. Because they were so ahead too, because this is England. Mm -hmm. They were like having all 10, 12 tracks. While in Jamaica, we only have two. Mm. You know, so it's the development of these <laughs> yeah, countries. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, um, Eh? But you know, 67. I. 67 at least. Okay. I came to England for the first time, 1967. Okay, so if he wasn't. But these are the singers that actually sorry. influenced me a lot. Okay, yeah. You know, Owen Green, Alton and Ed before he becomes yeah. Alton Ellis. Oh, right, yeah, remember. The Blues that. Busters. Yes, yes. You know, right. That um, sounds like Dance Crusher and that oh, time. Th those days were, oh. I, I, I have to give thanks for the music, you know. Definitely. Cause it, we, we come a long way, mm -hmm. you know, and we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't give up, you know. Well, since we're talking, it, music is not an easy road, you know. No. It's not an easy road. You have to persevere. You have to have faith. Mm -hmm. You know, have to believe in what you're doing, and you can see now it becomes universal. Definitely. You know, cause yeah. you know, um, and and music has no color, you know. Definitely. Not. Music is not black and it's not white. And I could do it the other way. It's not white and it's not black. <laughs> it's, it's like the rainbow. Yes. You see, so music belongs to all of us. It has no color, you know? Mm. Yeah. Well, mm. do you know that like, you've, you've been in the game for, for a very long time? 53 years now. Oh, wow. Mm. Is there anything that you would do different if you could go back in time? Is there anything you would do different? I wish for things that is coming through. I wish to do a soul album, oh. R&B, and I just finished doing a soul album. Yeah? And I also wish to okay. do a children album for children, and I just finished doing it. Okay. Yes, and I and I wish for a studio, and I have my own studio, oh. and I'm, I'm doing my own little production okay. and all that, you know. So, so dreams. So I'm, 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 
I'm satisfied mm -hmm. with what God gave me and what He ordained for me. You know, um, I'm rich in health. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. As long as I'm healthy. Yeah. And my fellow men come first. Mm -hmm. Both all of us here mm -hmm. comes first, not music. So people come first before music. Yeah, because music is people have to deal with music. Mm -hmm. People have to sing, they have to play. Mm -hmm. So my fellow man comes first. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Mm. Okay, so what kind of music are, are you, do you listen to nowadays? Do you listen to? My friend is there that the camera is not on, right? He knows who I stay. We listen to a variety mm -hmm. of music. I love the blues. Okay. I love R&B. I love every music that... Music is like food, you know. Music with taste, right? I, 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 can't, I, I can't turn my back. I have to face the reality that this song, yeah. it doesn't matter where it comes from, Calypso. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I love Sparrow. Oh, Sparrow is yes. a great the singer. Mighty Sparrow, yeah. The Mighty Sparrow. Yeah. And, and they will never, he will always be in the mm -hmm. minds of people. Definitely. Because he's a great man. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so I don't really have complex when it comes to, to music. Yeah. No matter where it comes from, because I have music that I play that I don't know the language. Mm -hmm. A lady from Africa <coughs> just came to my home and she gave me one of her albums and she's singing African language. I don't quite remember where she's from. Yeah. But it's so beautiful. Yeah. That's the only thing I can say that music on one language. Definitely. Music only speak one tongue. So it doesn't matter if the person it, you can understand the words, you know. That's right. But the music the What a beautiful that's thing. That's right, you feel it, you beautiful. feel the energy. That's it, you know. Yeah. You feel it within yeah. you. Yeah, that's right. And this lady, she lived, she, she, uh, mm -hmm. she lived this album with me, and it's so wonderful. So, Ken, I know you've got many, many, many great songs. I, I, I don't even know where to start if I had to list them, personally. Mm. But what's, what's your most, what songs are you most proud of that, you, that, you, that you sang? That's a question that people, when they interview me, mm -hmm. they already ask. I can't say 100 wish, but I can say which song I will remember because these songs are recognized mm -hmm. worldwide, you know? Like everything I own, original writer yeah. David Gates and yeah. the Red, yeah. Crying Over You that were in the British charts, yeah. and I had songs that, that go on the billboard. Right? Yeah. yeah, I have songs that go on billboard. Just lately I have a song, Let the Tears Drops Fall, and I remember I done on the train back with Shaggy. Okay, that, yeah. that, that also becomes a soundtrack for the movie. Yeah. And I'm on the train. Yep, yep. And I've done so many songs that you that that is not recognized. That that I would I would have them in the first in the top ten. Okay. You know, so music is not like because the song don't sold a lot. You know? Yeah. The standard is there, but Yeah, definitely. But yeah, I it, understand. people just didn't Grasp at it, at yeah. it, you know, but, but they're great songs. But you know, these songs after a while, sometimes they, be, be, they becomes it. Yeah. Yeah. All years to come, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. When yeah. Carl got the train, I've done the train when I was what, 17, 18, like that, 19. Mm -hmm. And now you know, a lot of people re-recorded the train, the UB40, you know, which I give thanks to these people. Yeah. Because they, they grew up on our songs and That's they. Right. But I can't answer that question 100. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah. if, he wasn't, if he wasn't doing music, is, is there anything you, you, what would you be doing if he wasn't a, a great vocalist? Because I know music is taking you worldwide, but what would you be doing? I would doing have to favorite? do something honest, you know? Yeah. Honesty is the best of policy. Um, mm -hmm. When I was growing up, right, um, because we grew up into a family that are not so fortunate, but they bred us and fed us. Mm -hmm. So, my mommy don't know that, that I'm selling newspaper at one time. Okay. My mother don't know, but that's how we, that, I, I have my friends and we all go and we, we swim and dive money at the ship side okay. when the sailors come to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And in Christmas times, I would sell seal and stamps, stamp to go on the, the letter before okay. a computer and all yeah. these things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, so forth. And we get our money, honestly, you know. Mm. I, I, I would look well I and copper and all those things. You know, and sold yeah, them back yeah. to the iron yard, and <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, most people must tell the truth because if you don't know where you're coming from, 
you're not going to know where you're going. So, so I always try to say these things to let people know that you don't have to burn with a gold spoon yeah. to ambitious, you know, mm -hmm. and to care, you know, and because um, most singers and players of instruments, baseball player, um, tennis player, most of them are, are from unfortunate families. But talent, you know, that talent, like you, you guys have talent, you see? And, and, and you have to have the money to show off talent, mm. you know, so I give thanks. Definitely. You know, I really give thanks that mm. in this time of my life, my birth, we're, we're, we're just Sunday. Okay. And, and I'm 70 years old, you know. Wow. And, um, and, I, 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 and, and my body is not telling me to rest as yet. Right. <laughs> and your voice, your you voice know? is unique. But I, I try not to lie on who I am. Okay. Because some people, mm -hmm. it's like, look at me. Like right now, this is changes. You know, I, I have to change, you know, it's a process in life. And you have to have white hair. Mm. You know, it, it's a, everybody going, going to end up with yeah, some white hair. Definitely. But that's, that's, not who, that, that, that's not what sings, you see. Mm -hmm. I sing. Yes. <laughs> so you <laughs> understand? That. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. so. So, so uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of talent out there nowadays, like, like you said. So do you have any advice for, for some up-and-coming musician? Because you, you, from your era, it was different. There was, there, was a, there was a greatness to what you've done. You understand? I, I, I kind of call it Hungry Belly vibes, where mm -hmm. you, you just close your eyes and, and, and it's everything that, that's around you. That's like how you, we started you out, you know. You see, yeah. most of my songs that you're, you're listening to, mm -hmm. we've we done them on Hungry Belly. Mm. Because um, we weren't that fortunate to have a lot of cash to buy a lunch. So, but we want to get in the studio. Yeah. When I go to studio one, so when you hear Ken Bode is your time, my belly just filled up with joy. Yes. Well. And all these nice songs you're hearing, yeah. that's how these, these songs come about. Yeah, definitely. You know? Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. So, any advice for, for any up and coming artists you, you, could, you could give? What I always say is that children are the heritage. Mm -hmm. And when if, when if you can't sing a song that children can listen to, don't bother sing it. True, true. If you can't sing something that uh, your baby, if I can't sing and your baby can listen to it and mm. it uplift her little mind. You know, because music is it's supposed to uplift the minds of people. Yeah, definitely. It's a message and it should be a constructive mm. message. True. You know, something that uplifts the minds of people. Not something that derogatory, you know, and, and will set you back. You know, we can we deal with the future? Yeah. You know, so my advice to all these young people now, because I love a lot of singers today, you know, because I'm not, I don't have no complex, you know, about my hero is the best and this, that in every generation there is singers yes. and players of instruments. Mm -hmm. And we can't stop that. That's the way God ordained it. Yeah. You know, most singers, look at David. He's a great singer, you know. David out of the Bible. Mm -hmm. He's a singer. Psalms. Yes. Psalms mean music, you know. Yes. And you have singers before him. Mm -hmm. So this is something that we going to be here with us, even when we're not here anymore. And generation after generation. Yes, my legacy. So what I'm glad for is that I, I, I have children. Uh, One of my sons can sing. Okay. You know, so yes, your offspring. Thank God for that. That's good. A man without a family is not a complete man. <laughs> so go and get baby. Both of you done. Right? Sanity. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Bless it. Yeah, so, thank you. You're welcome. So there you have it, YouTubers, live and direct. Another quick fire interview. And happy birthday again. What's your name? Unruly Cooley. Unruly Cooley. Yeah. Happy birthday. Women are the goddesses of earth. It's a people. We're going to be out of here right now. So thank you very much for tuning in to Don Sinclair and another quick fire interview with the man himself, Mr. Ken Honorable Booth, 100% <laughs> proof. Boom, we're out of here until next time. Still Respect. just a man. Yes, man. A man no title. No title can come over me, you know. Title? <laughs> no, sir. We are only human. Bless. No man is better than the other. Yes, man. But not woman or anybody, no better than the other. Uh, not even the dog that pee against the wall mm. is better than the other dog. You have mongrel, you know, you have a sash, and you have <laughs> still a dog. Yes. I know the youth, they must, do, they must stop calling it a dog. Yeah. 
Me. Mom dog, where you call a man dog? Mm. And he's a man. A man is a man. Yeah, a man is a man, you know. Mm. I do dog is man best friend though. <laughs> Cause my dog at home and I love him. Yeah. But my fellow man comes first. Definitely. With Humanity. the dog. Humanity. With the dog. Humanity. <laughs> Humanity. <laughs> we out now. Thanks Bless again. you. Yeah, Ken Booth, we're checking out. Boom. Yeah.